Hey everybody, this is Christine Bertram and I'm coming to you live from the Hive here in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. And we're ready for another Thursday night stamping of fun and all the good stuff. <laughs> so it's beautiful outside. Oh my gosh, the sun is shining. It was super windy all day today, but <laughs> I think it died down. And, oh, I missed it. It said I was live and I was <laughs> getting a comment. <laughs> so you guys have to give me extra seconds now because I missed the button. <laughs> so, oh, I'm sure that a bunch of you are already hot to trot and ready to make some beautiful cards. Well, come on, you guys here. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Where's the video? <laughs> so, oh, man. Um... It, it showed and then I got a comment from Danny just at the same time and I didn't want to click on the comment from Danny because that would have went straight into that. <laughs> so, all right, here it's going to be right there. Perfect. I wore green for you guys today. Hi, Sandy from California and Melanie and Angela and Julie. Wow, you girls are right on time. Hi, Jean. Hi, Kay. Um, I wore green for you today. I know it's the day after St. Patrick's day. Hi, Roxanne K. Uh, but we can celebrate the day after too together, right? So happy belated St. Patrick's Day to everybody. Hi, Victoria from New York. Hi, Danny. Thanks for sharing. You're a rock star. And there's Jean from Pennsylvania. Hi, Donna. You girls are always so on the ball. I appreciate that you share the video. You guys, hi, Faye. Oh, we're so close. <laughs> So I started doing Facebook Lives back on March 23rd of last year, right when the crazy started. Hi, Anne. Hi, Mary. Hi, Lisa. So our my one-year anniversary of doing Facebook Lives is coming up on a Tuesday. It's date night, but maybe we'll pop on for a few minutes and say hi, and maybe I'll do a crazy little drawing or something for something. You guys know I like to give stuff away. <laughs> so, hi Melanie. You're wearing your green shirt too. Awesome. 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 Hi Deanne. Hi Mo. So, um, yeah, one year ago, almost now, it was, it was when I started doing Facebook Lives and you guys have been so great. I started with 350 likes around that time. I don't know. It could have been 352 or 340, but somewhere around the mid 300s. Um, oh, uh, Kay got her lovely ice cream card. That's awesome. Yay. I did really good on getting those out. So hi, Sarah. Um, oh, I'm so grateful for you guys too. You're awesome. Uh, <clears throat> tornado warnings in neighboring county. So be careful, Faye. <laughs> if you need to go for cover, go for cover. Hi, Susie. Uh, so the likes though. So a year ago, we started around 350 likes and I had been on Facebook for probably five years. My whole, hi Jay Shante, and you're in sunny Arizona, I love it. Oh man, I love it. So 350 likes and I had been at it primary in person business for about five years or so. And hi Elaine, hi Kathy King. And we grew a lot this last year. Hi Rhonda. Um, I was very fortunate that I got on the ball right away. I had a business development advisor at Stampin' Up! that I had been working with, and I had my mom in my back corner. And the day that they shut things down, I was beside myself, and I didn't know what I was going to do. <laughs> and they told me what to do. I had been talking about going live, doing onlines, all that stuff for two years, and there's always excuses. <laughs> well, there weren't any more excuses. And we grew from 350 all the way up to, I looked at it today, guys. We're at 1985. And Kelly and I tried to do a giveaway back in the end of December, at the end of December, early January, to do that box. Hi, Arliss, to do that box right there. It's a, a mini stamping cut and embossed machine. Hi, Tammy Steckling. Um, so you guys are getting your purple and pink packages. So I always am between pink and purple. Sometimes there's teal, but I love purple. So you guys get purple from me. Um, so... I looked today and we're still at 19, well not still at, but we're closer. But I guess I was getting it, I was like, how we just like went so crazy and then it just kind of tapered off and it's been like pulling teeth to get 50 people <laughs> to like. So you guys are doing great. I wanna tell you that I appreciate all the shares, all the likes, all the comments. It's gonna help us get to 2000. Hi Jennifer and hi Linda. 
And when we get to 2000, when I see that 2000, that's when we're going to do the drawing for that. And Kelly's been keeping track. I know that post is probably buried somewhere. And I know there's a bunch of new people that have been watching me. But there is a post that has a picture of a stamp and cut and emboss machine. And it says on there that if you share the post and you comment that you shared it, you'll get entered into the drawing. So make sure you don't have to go and do it again if you did it, because Kelly doesn't need to keep track of names double and triple times, but just make sure that you're sharing, commenting, and that you put that on there. So we're close. We're 15 away, but geez, it's taken a month to get 50. So I'm like, I have no idea when it's going to happen. I was actually hoping it would be there for tonight so that we could do the drawing tonight, but it's not. So it'll be within the week, hopefully. <laughs> so, oh yes. So yay, Jennifer, you're live with me. You get to watch live. That's awesome. Hi, Sandy with Linder. Okay. So you guys, hi, Kathleen Boyer. Um, so just I have, a, as people are rolling on, I always like to go over a few things. I always love to show the cards that are coming up so you guys can see them. And I talked about the 2,000 likes, but next week, it's crazy. But uh, Kathy King said to me today, she can't wait to see the new catalog. And I was like, wow, that really came up fast. So uh, the new Stampin' Up! annual catalog is coming out and is available for demonstrators to see or discount shoppers. You guys, that is an interchangeable term. Hi, Latokia. Sandy, you didn't get the email for the card instructions. I sent it around noon today. It was around my lunch hour, maybe 11 o'clock or 1130. Um, check your junk mail, maybe. Uh, I did send it, though. I promise you were the one that said to me, did you send the card instructions? And I was like, oh, shoot. So Sandy, you were one that reminded me. So maybe it will be happening on the one year anniversary of going live. Arliss, that is an awesome, um, or um, Angela, that's an awesome idea. I really like that thought. So hi, Sandy. So the new catalog is going to be available to discount shoppers and demonstrators in a PDF format on Wednesday, March 24th. It's not even a week. It's less than a week now. And, um, that means that they're also going to have a last chance list. So the annual catalog does retire on May 3rd. As they get to the end of the cycle, the catalog cycle, if stuff goes out of stock, they don't replenish it. So the items become while supplies last. So if you're on the fence about getting some things and you're uncertain, get off that fence, splinters hurt, and either just figure out if you want it or not. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, just know though that, hi Sue from Ohio, um, I did get a notice that the Rococo Rose paper cardstock is currently out of stock and they turned off the item. Uh, they did say that there is another um, in status or an inventory amount of, some, how do I wanna say this? There is another set of replenishment stock coming in the near future. And once that that stock is gone, then it's gone. So, so the, the Rococo rows, what they do is they turn off an item number if, uh, the, if it gets to be too many back orders. And so just know Rococo rows is, is gone, but it's coming back for the paper. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing the new catalog too. Uh, so what's happening next week, Thursday, is I have the paper pumpkin. Paper pumpkin. I'm going to flip it down. I just got mine today or yesterday. I can't remember. Um, hi, Sue in Australia. Good morning to you. So I'm so sad because they covered up the box with my label, um, but it's beautiful. It's a very outdoorsy, nice scene, and it also comes with stencils, four extra stencils, or four gifts of a stencil, yeah, four gifts, ah, a gift that is four stencils. My mind is getting backwards. I'm so excited about it. So uh, I do have three extra paper pumpkins that I got this month. So if somebody missed out on getting them, you can reach out to me, email me, or probably email me or text me. That would be best. And we'll see if we can get you a paper pumpkin. Next week's Tip Tuesday is going to be about stenciling. <clears throat> somebody had suggested that a couple lives ago that we should do a tip Tuesday on the stencils since we're getting stencils for free in the paper pumpkin. And then on top of it, next week's Technique Thursday, Kelly's gonna be making a card with stencils to show you, so yay! Okay, so some of you may not have gotten yours. Leslie, you said yours hasn't, yours hasn't come yet. So they're all gonna start showing up in your mailbox pretty soon if you haven't gotten it yet. So, hi Cheryl Thomas. Okay, so. Danny got her paper pumpkin today. Kathy, subscribe. <laughs> you never thought you would. <laughs> uh, 
Don't we all say that? We never thought we'd buy that. We never thought we'd get that. And all of a sudden, there we have it. <laughs> so Latokia, yours will, be come, yours will be coming soon too. So next week, Thursday is Paper Pumpkin. We're going to put together the cards and then also some alternatives and go over the stencils. Uh, I want to show you real quick too. Some of you may not have caught this, but I was... Uh, guest crafter on craft roulette and you guys all saw my card I think or if you haven't this is it but I added something I went upstairs and I got Grace's garden and there's a little pretty kitty right there you guys it was the perfect cat size it looks like it's smelling the flowers oh my gosh Danny you will love this because you're a cat person I know <laughs> so it was the perfect little cat to put in there I was thinking about that pretty kitty in here and you guys all told me no so so that was Grace's garden. It's still a current set. And I used the welcoming window stamp set and dies on here. Uh, so I went and I checked to share what is running through my feed. Okay, good. And Julie loves the card. So that was that. And then also, you guys, at the end of the show tonight, I will be giving away or announcing who was the winner from the VIP group, <clears throat> who was the, half off, the winner of the half off art gallery bundle, and then the free class. Hi, Carol Jefferson. A little late, but you're here. We're just getting started. So <clears throat> I'll be announcing the winner from that. And then, hi, Anna Revedu. Oh, yeah, Danny says, perfect. Hi, Diane. Also, I have this from last week, Thursday. I have uh, picked a winner for that, so I'll be announcing that. And then, you guys, we did a kit class on Sunday. I got to look you guys in the eye. That took three hours and 26 minutes. Oh, like this girl didn't drink much water and she didn't go to the bathroom. I'll tell you the first things I did when I was done, I went pee and I drank some water. Oh, I never knew that that class would take that long. Stacy Burns, the butterfly paper is not gone for good. That butterfly paper is available, I think, through April 30th. 30-ish, it-ish, 30th-ish. Um, somebody who knows can look it up for us. I know Diane Bogenhagen, you're watching. Um, if you are able to, um, it, tell us, the. so there's the Butterfly Bio or BU paper. It goes through May 3rd or April 30th. I can't remember, somewhere near. If somebody wants to look it up and tell us, that would be awesome. But Three hours and 26 minutes, we put together two paper pumpkin cards, four posy cards, five citrus cards, four You Are Amazing cards, and we put together, what's the other kit? There was one more kit, and I'm drawing a blank. Something else. Four more cards from that kit, I think, or three. I don't even know what that all adds up to, but it was a lot of cards. <laughs> and so I have cards. <laughs> Hi, Lisa Party. Um... Yes, thank you, Lisa. Share, share, share. Um, so it was amazing because after I did the kit class, I had a couple people that ordered the kits. So <clears throat> you don't always know that kits are out there or you think maybe I'm a more casual to avid stamper. And so the kits are, they're not, I wouldn't say below you, but they're like you, you want to be more creative than kits, but just know that kits work out in a pinch. They're beautiful. Oh my gosh. So these are the cards that I'm giving away. These are from the Posy. So the kits make beautiful cards, easy to put together. You can always cut them apart and add more layers to them if you want. <clears throat> oh, so Kay, I don't think, is it really sold out? Ah, oh, okay. I have to research that. <clears throat> and then I have some paper pumpkin cards that we put together as well on a Sunday. This was a little free gift for those people who signed up. So, um, so kits are awesome. You guys, you can't forget about that. And there'll be some new kits coming out in the annual catalog. So I don't know if I have some of my demo friends that are on watching, but I didn't catch that that butterfly paper is sold out, uh, that it's gone for good. Sometimes what they do is they'll turn off an item and then they will bring it back on when they're then one more, it says sold out. So Sandy says that it sold out. Okay, you guys, I will have to investigate that a little. And just to confirm it, I'm not saying that you guys are wrong that are saying that it discontinued butterfly paper. Oh my gosh, I didn't hear that. When did that happen? I feel like that paper was supposed to be good through sometime the end of April. Okay, so Stacy, I get now why you were asking me all about that paper. So I can't confirm if I have paper or not <laughs> because I have a class coming up. Uh, the butterfly class. So you guys, I have, let me show you what I have coming up. 
and I need to make sure I save paper for this. So I have the butterfly. I was told it sold out. Melanie said the same thing. Okay, well, I believe you guys. The website said it isn't showing the butterfly. Oh my gosh. I'm a Cindy, your demo, it's gone. Okay, I'm so sad. It said until supplies last. Well, that's news to me, you guys. I've <laughs> oh, okay, so that means it's gone. Um, but I still have this butterfly class coming up and um, so I have, I know I have enough to satisfy what I need for classes. So, um, Lisa says it was while supplies last. Oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like I have, um, this is old, <laughs> old news for me or <laughs> that free shipping took care of it. Okay. Well, these are the butterfly cards that I have coming up. This one's a fun fold. It's very similar to the fun folds card class. I just loved that layout. You guys loved it so much too. So, so just know, hi, Bonnie Lesperance. It's removed. Okay, Rebecca says the same thing. So so I have this butterfly class coming up April 9th. It's online only. You would get the four card kits and it comes with a goodie bag. You're going to get your linen thread and your in color dots that will go with it. Full pack. So um, you guys, I have, um, I plan for about 20 for that class and I'm at 12 right now. So I have about eight spots open in case anybody wants to RSVP. You just go to my website and you can pay for it online. Or if you want to do a more cash option, like PayPal, friends and family, Zelle, all that kind of stuff, just reach out to me individually and we'll take care of it. So that's the butterfly class. And then <clears throat> there's still time for this one. This is the art floral class, you guys, that's coming up April 1st. I have about eight or so sets left of that. I'm planning, get this, you guys, holy Moses, I'm planning for 60 and I have 50 already signed up. I have about 10 left. So if you want to get signed up for the art floral class on April 1st, which is a Thursday, you better let me know soon. It's free with a $40 purchase. Uh, and then I mail the kits to you. Uh, the only thing you need to have primarily besides ink and adhesives and the stamps are this gilded leafing. I won't be mailing gilded leafing. It would be a mess. <laughs> So yes, Danny says, let's start a petition to get the butterfly paper back. So, okay, so that's fine art floral. Guys, sign up for that one sooner rather than later. I hate telling people no. And then game night is April 8th. And you guys, I have, I think about 10 left of this one that I'm planning. I was planning for 42 and I think I'm around 32. So I have about 10 sets left of this one that are, as what I'm planning. <clears throat> so the dragonfly bundle the dragonfly dream bundle I, I can't remember exactly but dragonfly garden bundle was featured in this one so you really need just the dragonfly and some of the foliage stamps and i do a lot of the die cutting and embossing for you so all the details for game night can also be found on the april 8th calendar events hi denise so marcia's coming in too you're not late we're just getting started okay so that's game night so this is a lot you guys i've got a lot of stuff coming up I've been giving sneak peeks of the hydrangea class too. Hydrangea is April 22nd. And so that one's coming up. You guys, I'm planning for 60 on that one too. And I'm already at 35 and that class is like the end of April. Isn't that crazy? Okay, one more thing. Beautiful cards that I got in the mail. So this card was from Diane um, Rangi, but she said it was a swap card. Um, not using Stampin' Up! stuff, but look at the technique that's on here. It's an old newspaper or it's from a, a book, but it's like printed material and then it's colored and shaded and then stamped. It's actually embossed and then colored. And then there's a bee on it. You guys know I love the bees. So Diane sent me a beautiful card. Thank you. Hi, Dar. Oh yeah, Dar, you can catch back a little bit later. This card I'm so excited. Oh, my dear is calling me. I have to let that go. <laughs> Sorry, Tyler. Okay, so this card is from Christina Hazer, and she made this with some of her new celebration products that she got and some of her new stamps. And so she used some of the old Stampin' Up! colors. Actually, old olive is still current, but if you guys remember Creamy Caramel, that's Creamy Caramel. She was a stamper back in the day, came and go, came and go. And then she, I found her. So she found me, but we found each other and now she's back stamping with me and she gave me a thank you card. <clears throat> this one is from our amazing Luann Johnson. I got a love note from her too. And it's a thanks card. Now she actually said some things on here <clears throat> about what, where the card, already, okay. So she said the card uses two of the chick sets. So, hey, birthday chick and hey, chick. And the log cabin and the fence is where that comes from, the dies. And the sentiment is from Ornate Thanks. And she loves that script. You guys, she put all the little corns into hydra, what are those, hyacinths? 
I think those are hyacinths. They smell fabulous. But isn't that a cool alternative card to not having the chickens but using the chicken set? Good job, Luann. It's beautiful. So thank you so much. All right. So Faye mailed a big April card class list. And oh, awesome. <laughs> Perfect. So Faye's going to get signed up for some classes. Great. So yeah, you guys, it's always good to let me know uh, what you want to sign up for just so I can get your name on the list right away. As long as I have your name on the list, we can always figure out how you want to pay for it or if you want to do an order and get it for free. The stamp sale yesterday, it wasn't a stamp sale. It was a free shipping yesterday. You guys rocked it. Thank you for all your orders yesterday. A lot of you took advantage <laughs> a lot with the free shipping. I did too. So it was good. Um, Stampin' Up! So somebody asked me, how often does Stampin' Up! do the free shipping sale? I can tell you that in my years, I've, I've noticed that they do it twice a year. They do it, today it was on a Wednesday. Yep, so it was really weird. Two years ago, they did it on a Wednesday in October, and I know because I was in Mexico for work, uh, and it was in the middle of trying to do meetings with customers, and I needed to get my Stampin' Up! order in, and I made it happen. But it was a Wednesday in October, around the middle, and they've done that, they did that two years ago and they did that this past year and they do it usually in spring or like March. And so they just did it. So twice a year is usually when they offer free shipping. Oh man, did something freeze? I hope it didn't freeze. <clears throat> I see that something's freezing here. Okay, you guys, we're gonna have to check this really quick. You might still see this, but I'm going to see if I can fix this. This happened to us the other night. <clears throat> I'm seeing that it's still recording, but I lost my camera uh, doing the flipping thing back and forth. So let's just make sure that the internet stink gets switched on me. So I'm still at the hive. <clears throat> let's see here. It's still going. Oh, let's see here, guys. I'm sorry. I have no idea why sometimes it can work perfectly fine, and then sometimes it can go crazy and haywire. And I am going to see if I can pull in my camera here and see if we can get camera two working. I, I do see that I'm thinking it might work. So I got my camera two up there. It's working a little slow. Ah! <laughs> okay. So my camera one seems to be working really good. I think you guys are seeing that. I'm trying to figure it out like in the middle of all the crazy. <clears throat> so if something happens, you guys, and I lose you, I will be right back. And I promise that we'll get this figured out. Um, something's not connecting. So I have an issue with my internet that it wants to pull the internet from the house for one of my devices. And then the other one is different and it doesn't pair very well that way. It doesn't like it. So I'm trying to figure out if I can, and there, it did it again. So, yeah, but then it's frozen again. So I might lose you guys, and then we'll come right back, okay? So we'll get it started again and go from there. So let's see here if it's still frozen on your end. It still is. So, all right, we're going to hop off, and we're going to hop back on, and we'll see if it's the internet or what is going on. And there it seems to be working just fine. So oh, we're gonna get this figured out before we start making cards, that I can tell you for sure. Oh, you guys are still there. You're watching, I still have 60, 60 some people. Hi, Kathy Jackson. Oh, I'm gonna flip to my down camera and see once it, what happens with you guys. So I did, I'm doing the hand check because normally when it doesn't like it, the hands go really slow. So I did a private Facebook class for Luann on Tuesday and we had the same issue with that. And I can't explain to you. Hi, Brent Fillmore. We'll see you at the U stamp sale this weekend. So I, <laughs> I don't know if it's going to keep giving me problems or not, but we're pretty much to get the card making going. So, so far, so good. Um, yeah, <laughs> you guys, I have this crazy thing with internet. And I think most 
demonstrators who do Facebook Lives have this technology handicap with sometimes it will work perfectly and the next time it won't. But I'm checking my hands and they're working and <laughs> and maybe we keep going. You guys, you guys are in for a ride, so we'll see how it goes. But speaking of which, Brent, Brent just joined. Um, for all my local gals and guys, we have a small business showcase on Saturday at the Masonic Center in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, and it goes from nine until two. We have about 20 to 22 vendors and crafters that are set up, and it's in conjunction with a used stamp sale that I host, and we have about maybe 20 people that contribute stamps, inks, papers, and everything in the middle for a used stamp sale, and um, it's gonna be great, <laughs> so yes. All right, Fancy Freebird just joined us. Hopefully the video works good for us. I'm gonna stop flipping back and forth with my camera. I get a little crazy with that, so maybe that'll help you guys. So, all right, <laughs> Michelle's here too. So I'll try to keep watching my phone, and if I see that it starts freezing up again, we'll figure something out, but <laughs> we're gonna flip down and we're gonna just roll with it, guys. Okay, okay, I'm a little nervous, but we'll go for it. But did you guys see... Kelly did a Technique Thursday uh, video this morning, and it was basically working with intricate dies. And so I just wanted to give you guys another sneak peek at the card. If you wanna see how she made this card, just go to the video section of the Cards by Christine Facebook page, and you guys can see a video that she made on that. So, okay. These are the cards that we're gonna be making tonight. So every month I do a card making class that features three different stamp sets. So that makes it a little bit harder for people who aren't local to attend the class in person. But, um, but that gives you guys the ability to be creative. Hi, Randy, <laughs> you're not late, we just got started. So it's, it, my monthly class always features three different stamp sets and or bundles. So like in this case, it's not a bundle, but these two are bundles. And so where if you guys don't have these stamp sets, that's where you can improvise. And we'll go from there. So uh, my bundle suite class, always I try to stay within the, that, that bundle or that suite. So, all right, I'm gonna set these over here and we're gonna do a little roll call because I wanna welcome everybody that is taking the class tonight. So we have Sandy Wicklander, Danny Olson, Leslie McMinn, Ruth Nicholson, Carmen Melendez, Barb Barkow, Deanna Stell, Judy Bobo, Lori Kaiser, Angela Knutson. <laughs> I spelled it wrong there. <laughs> Don't look at that, Angela. Uh, Patty Salter, Kathy King, Bobby McPherson, Angela Orvis, Barb Fryn, Latokia Trigg, Rhonda Ayers, Jill McMaster, Marty Gellings, Linda Hodge, Most Dites, Anthony McRae. 22 people are doing this class, not potentially all live with me tonight, but they are gonna be potentially catching the replay. So, and I know a lot of you guys are already here watching with me. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And we're gonna get you guys, did you see this? <laughs> you guys might recognize that if you got a Christmas card from me, that I have over made about 20 inserts. And so I, I used them for the backside of some of my inserts for these cards. So we're gonna get started. Oh my gosh, Fancy, I love this, the strawberry card too. So we're gonna start with this one. We're gonna get you guys warmed up. This is a very easy peasy lemon squeezy card. It uses one ink color and it's espresso, early espresso. Um, you guys too, uh, if you're looking forward or you like these cards, I do have maybe two or three kits left unaccounted for that you could get with placing an order um, or they would be uh, $17 if mailed with cash or check or PayPal, basically a, a cash option. So this is awesome. It's using Poppy Parade. I don't use Poppy Parade a lot. Uh, so Denise, you got cold and raining there tonight. So stay inside. Don't go for a walk, right? <laughs> Today we got sunshine finally, but wind. So I don't use Poppy Parade a lot. And it's very similar to Real Red, but it's got a little bit more of that orange undertone. And it's eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. So that's your card base. And I did do a little bit of stamping ahead for me so that um, we're a little bit faster. And <clears throat> you guys at home though, the stamp set that I used is called Springtime Joy and very great for spring Easter cards. That's where the little lammy came from and the little bunny. Uh, and it says, welcome spring. Easter is a lovely reminder of new beginnings. May the life of spring 
the new life of spring bring you joy and then the little baby chick so that's the stamp set i used and <clears throat> the ribbon that i used with this it, i featured the art floral a lot in this card so this is that gold shimmery ribbon it's actually called fine art ribbon so that's the, where the ribbon came from and the designer series paper came from the art floral suite as well <clears throat> everybody's flowers are gonna look different guys so it's a 12 by 12 sheet and it's a whole pattern hi Joanna it's a whole pattern of different flowers and so you can see this one looks different than that you guys might have a different look but I think what I might do is because my big flower is over here, I don't wanna cover that up. So I'm gonna to look to see what side is better to put my lamy when I'm putting it together. So I have here in your kit, you'll have two pieces that are the mats and they're both four by five and a quarter. So one is Blushing Bride. And what I've done is I stamped in the early espresso. Whoa, dominoes, hang on, I don't wanna lose that. Okay, so I stamped the Welcome Spring at the top in Early Espresso. I stamped the May the Light, New Life of Spring Bring You Joy on the inside. And then you've got the two critters. <laughs> you've got your bunny and you have the lammy. And so you guys will have two circles. One is your stitched circle and that comes from the Stitch Shapes dies. And then you'll have a scallop circle, which comes from the layering circles. And they go great together. My favorite die set in the entire catalog, it, I'd have to say, is stitched shapes. <clears throat> so what you'll do, if you don't have the lamy, whatever else you have would be perfect. But it's just going to get stamped right on the piece of Whisper White, the circle. You do have to be a little careful because if you do stamp on the stitching like I did here, you might want to press just a little bit harder there, but not hard enough that you get a halo, but you want to start press a little bit harder there so that, um, that the ink meets the paper really good. So those were the only four things I stamped. They were all from that stamp set, Springtime Joy. And then I pulled in some blends for coloring and the blends are dark these are actually the same they're both dark poppy parade i just had a couple of them in my tote and i colored the flowers with poppy parade and then i used mossy meadow on the foliage and i used light smoky slate for the hooves <laughs> there's hooves down there <laughs> and on the bunny on the inside i did the same for her tiara or her flower crown um, or his. Well, I'm, I'm guessing maybe it's a girl if, they're, if it's wearing a flower crown. So, <clears throat> but work is face the picture in the window. So Faye, I'm trying to read your comment real quick. I was going to do my make and take from the retreat, but workspace is at the picture window. So we'll wait and make tomorrow. Okay, that works too. Um, the other thing you guys could do is I chose to keep it white <laughs> because I didn't have to do more coloring. But if you want to color your lamb or your bunny rabbit, you are more than welcome to. The sky's the limit. These animals can be colored a lot of different colors. <laughs> so if you want to pull out grays or crumb cake or whatever other colors you want, you could definitely color them. So what I'm going to do, hi Karen, I'm going to put a little bit of liquid glue behind my stitched circle and adhere that to Hi, April's Rain. I'm gonna adhere that to the poppy. And then I'm just gonna prep this with a few, or actually four dimensionals, so that's ready to go. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adhere my DSP. <clears throat> and I'm gonna, so I don't wanna do that. So when you have your DSP, it can go one way or the other way. And if I have it like that, I'm covering up that flower. So I'm gonna flip it this way. And then I think my flower looks better. And I'm trying to contemplate if I put my lamb here, I might cover up too much flour right there. So I'm considering putting them there, but then I would have maybe stamped it over there. So I'm gonna stick with my lamb over here because I've got my sentiment there. But just know, before you guys stamp this right here, if you wanna put your lamb on this side, then you could potentially stamp your sentiment over there. So when you're ready to adhere that down, I'm just gonna put a little bit of liquid glue behind the designer series paper and line that up. <clears throat> I always like to put 
the paper, the DSP onto here. Cause then if I cut, so let's say I cut your DSP a hair longer, you can take your scissors and trim that right off. Okay, then grab your tearing tape or your double-sided tape and we're gonna adhere our ribbon. We're gonna make our ribbon sandwich. So I put the two pieces down and then your ribbon. So you have one that's about five inches. That's the one that's gonna go. <laughs> you only have one piece that's loose like this and the other is a bow that I made for you. I didn't make my bow because I thought I'd make it live because I, I think that you guys like to see the bow maker in action every now and then. Okay, so then I'm gonna put another piece of tear and tape right over the top to make my sandwich. And then I'm picking off the paper. Hi, Gail, how are you doing? Long time no talk. Then grab the glue and then adhere this piece of Blushing Bride, the mat, onto your card front. And then you can pick off the dimensionals on the back of the circle. I got smart and I put a little garbage next to me so I don't end up with a little pile <laughs> of dimensionals. Okay, so you're gonna put your little lammy there and get these out of the way. Now I made your bow for you guys, so you should have a bow that's already in your kit. And I'm going to make one for myself real quick here. So I, I cut the length that I thought I needed and I cross my tails. One goes up and over and then under. And then I tie them into a knot. The main thing is that you pull your tails down and to the left and to the right. Like that. Okay. So now I've got the bow. I uh, always tell people never use liquid glue to put bows on. <laughs> yes, Stacy, I got a, it's a heavy one. <laughs> you don't see me going like this all the time. I definitely got a new bottle of liquid glue. I got it for kit class on Sunday. I think I had a new one. So I never use liquid glue though with fabric. It does not work so good. Uh, I definitely put my bows on with glue dots. So I'm going to put a glue dot right where I think my bow needs to go. Now, what you can do for your tails is if you don't like that the way that they're going, <clears throat> you can definitely put a glue dot down for your tail to stick so it's going the way you want it. And I'm actually gonna do one more on this side. They call me the queen of the glue dots, guys, because I like my tails going exactly where I want them. <clears throat> okay, grab your ribbon scissors and then you can trim your tails. I always trim the tails as like one of the last things I do on a card because sometimes the, the ends get frayed like that, like that. And if you wait till the end, at least then they won't get disrupted. So, all right, you guys should have four diamonds in your card kit. And <clears throat> the four diamonds go on her tiara, right? Oh, they go right in the center. So if you don't want to put the four diamonds in, and you'd rather color your centers yellow, you could do that. Or you could color the diamonds yellow and then they'd have their yellow insides. But I kept it with the traditional rhinestones so that they were clear. So those rhinestone Stampin' Up! sells those as well. They have the basic jewels that are rhinestones and they have basic jewels in the pearls. And then grab your inside mat and what you can do is put a little adhesive behind it and Put that on the inside of your card. Oh man, Stacy, Stella the lamb. Oh goodness gracious, she's gonna have very glittery wool. <laughs> uh, she doesn't have fur that I know of. You have to be very careful though. When you Stella over ink, sometimes the ink will bleed. So if you can see from the camera what I'm doing, I'm trying to not go over the ink. I'm trying to work my way around the ink. And we're gonna get up here without trying to mess up her hair too bad, her fur, her wool, <laughs> her coat. <laughs> yes, there you go, Stacey, good idea. So she's all stellified and butyramic here. Buta, butyramic, that's a new word for tonight. So, butylicious. Okay, 
And I know that you guys probably have the hardest time seeing the Stella in the camera, but maybe you got a glimpse of a little bit of her glow. <laughs> but that's it. That was a warm-up card, guys. If you are a swapper, <laughs> you like to swap cards, perfect layout. This DSP, when it's a 3 by 4 for the DSP, you get 12 pieces out of a 12 by 12 So it really... it go a long way with the Stella, oh, with the Stella, with the DSP, and then adding on a nice little cute stamp to it, and I'm putting one more glue dot right at the tail there, and then a sentiment up here, so if you use a lighter color here, then you can stamp and see it, and perfect card for a swap card if you guys need an idea for what to use for a swap card, so all right, good idea, Stacy. Thank you for calling me out on the Stella. <laughs> Sometimes I get so excited that I forget about the Stella. <laughs> so, yes, that is our first card, guys. That was an easy one, right? Okay, we're working our way up to the shark. In case you didn't guess it, we're going to do the strawberry next. I love the strawberry, guys. Oh, man, I think that's... The strawberry bundle, if you guys haven't been following me since January, this might be the first time you hear it, <laughs> but the strawberry bundle is in my top three for favorites. I love hydrangea, the kangaroo, and the strawberry. So we're going to do a strawberry card right now. It says, happy birthday, you sweet thing. And I'm going to actually make mine into a thank you card because there's going to be a winner of this card next week. And then I can write a little thank you note in there. So you guys, there's a lot of moving parts in this kit, a lot of pieces of paper. And we'll start with the card base because that's always the easiest. So this is the garden green color, same base as the other one. So four, it's five and a half this way by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Grab your bone folder, burnish your edges like that. And then you also in this one, have two pieces that are exactly the same size, four by five and a quarter. So same concept as the last card. You have your piece of whisper white, or it's basic white, and then you have a piece of pear pizzazz. So any guesses where this DSP came from? I wanna see if you guys are on, the, on your A games or on the ball. Uh, it's not the mini catalog. And I was searching for the perfect paper that reminded me of strawberry, fruit, watermelon, like summery card. Give me a guess if you know where that, that I'm because I'm not going to say exactly yet. I'll wait to see if I get some answers. Okay, the other thing that's special about your pear pizzazz piece of paper, you guys can see that stitching on there. Who knows where that's from? <laughs> I will show you. It's hard to find this one in the catalog. Hi, Molly. But hi, Carol. It's called Stitched with Whimsy Dies. And these, there's one, two, three, four, five, six dies in here and they don't cut per se. They don't cut something out. What they do is they stitch an imprint. So this one right here, the second biggest one, is what did the imprinting on this one. Now I'm gonna show you where these are in the catalog because you will most likely miss them if you're not looking for them. And let's see here, where is Strawberry Bundle? Okay, <laughs> I gotta think about how to find this really fast. So this. Okay, it's the hot dog stamp set. So, <clears throat> yes, Susie! Sandy got it too. Deanne got it. Yep, you got it. Um, that is from, this DSP is from the Forever Greenery. <clears throat> so, I want to tell you guys, there's a hot dog set right here. Hot dog stamp set, page 72. If you're into hot dogs, <laughs> not as in the meat, <laughs> but if you're into the hot dogs as in the animal, you would love this set right here. And it... It's hard to see this because you don't, you, you, if you look at a st stamps, you guys, I looked through a catalog a million times, but I miss things. And this is something that I missed and I didn't get these right away because I didn't catch them, but they're called Stitch with Wednesday Dies and they're not part of a bundle. They're just a set of dies on their own for purchase. They don't go with the hot dog bundle per se, but they're featured on the same page. So if you look at the stamp set and you think, oh, that looks cool, but then you keep going and you're like, oh, I missed that. So these dies are awesome and they are sold by themselves, not as part of a bundle. Okay, so Stitch with Whimsy dies. The other dies that I pulled into this card are one of my favorites, Stitched So Sweetly dies. And they have these four outlines like this, and then there's six rectangles that are scalloped. And so I used 
the these two larger ones over here. So everybody who's got the kit from me, you're gonna have these two pieces right here. One is garden green and then the other is the basic white and they're die cut ready for you to stamp on this one. Francie missed them too and just put them on, yeah. They, they're so tucked down in the corner and they're not part of a bundle, so I completely miss them. All right, so you guys got it. You figured out that this is from the Forever Greenery because look, there's your fern on the other side. So Forever Greenery. And then um, the back slip here is Garden Green as well. And I noticed that, I can't remember how I cut your kits, but I noticed on my card here, I cut it flush at five and a quarter. And I noticed on this one, I cut it long. So I think I'm just gonna trim a hair off because I'm thinking I cut your guys's at five and a quarter. So let's just see here really quick. This is, oh, it's two by five and a quarter because we'll cut that. And then this is uh, one and 13 sixteenths by five and a quarter. So yeah, the labels are awesome. I absolutely love them. They go with a stamp set too. You should have in your kit a, a four by five and a quarter mat that will go on the inside. And then you guys all have a piece of whisper. Oh, it's basic white uh, that looks like this. And it's just a scrap. I gave you plenty though. I know because I had this class with my club and I had it Monday night. And all you need to do from this is get a strawberry and a hull along with two flowers. And I'm gonna show you how I stamped them on here to, to make it work. Now in your kit too, also for those people that got the kit, I did punch out a white strawberry, a white hull, and two white, um, and two white flowers. So in case you don't have the punch, you can still stamp them potentially. Hopefully they, they stamp really nicely. Okay, so this card, I've got a little bit of stamping I wanna do with you. I'm gonna pull out my piercing mat because this is gonna provide the foam that I need because these are photopolymer stamps. I'm gonna grab a scratch paper to put down. And so here's the punch that we're using. Hey guys, you can see me in the, <laughs> the punch. <laughs> okay, so it's got the strawberry, the leaf, a flower, and a hull. So we're gonna set that off to the side. The stamp set looks like this. You guys, it's loved. I've used this for swap cards. I use this for many cards. And so a lot of my stamps are very pink. <laughs> so, But I'm gonna make mine into a thank you card. So I'm gonna grab the thank you out and set that there. Um, the strawberry punch is still not available. I think the bundle is turned off as well. Uh, people are asking when will it be back? And I could have sworn it was supposed to be back by March 15th, but March 15th has come and gone. So if anybody's watching and they know more than I know, you could message um, in the comments and tell us where we're at with the strawberry bundle, if there's been an update to the ETA or not. In the set is some vines and they are stamped in garden green on this piece over here. So the label that looks like this, they fit on here almost all the way. You might have a little overhang, but to make sure, so there's a top and a bottom to your stitch or your cutout piece. The rough side is the bottom and the smooth side that's rolled is the top. And this fits on here pretty close. Make sure you let the ink soak into the paper. Paper will stick because it's photopolymer and it pretty much fits on there. You got a little bit of stuff that overhangs, but that's how that works. <clears throat> yeah, I thought I could have sworn it said 315 for the the punch so all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our hull so you've got this piece of paper and in there it's called two-step stamping you have an innie and an outie or an outline and an inside and so we've got two hulls two flowers now my trick with punches this one's a little bit cumbersome because they squished everything into here. <laughs> and you have to be so careful because if you would go to stamp your strawberry here and then go to punch it, everything else will be wasted on there. So I'm gonna show you how my method to my madness and how I would stamp this. So I look at the back of my punch and I see the hull over here. And so I'm gonna stamp my hull way down on this bottom corner, right about there. Because then I'm wasting the least amount of paper. And I like to stamp the outline first. It's so much easier to see the solid one. So I'm gonna do the outline and then I'm gonna do <laughs> the, the inline <laughs> or the solid. And so you just have to hover over the top. Because they're photopolymer, you just wanna 
get it lined up as best as you can. You can see it. All right, so look at that. So we've got our hull. Now this makes a big mess, you guys. I punched out all your hulls and flowers and strawberries and there was white paper scraps all over the floor. So, so you can see it cuts off some random pieces there. So, but I've got my hull here. I'm gonna set that there. Okay, now I'm gonna look at the flower. So I've got a flower here. So now what I wanna do is I wanna stamp on this side actually. So I'm gonna stamp flowers here. I'm gonna stamp one here and one here. And then that leaves me this whole other area to stamp my strawberry. So there's plenty of room. So we're gonna set this there. Um, little clear blocks. Yes, these are the A blocks. And I've learned to have little A blocks available because when you have these little stamps, it's best to have the stamp fit really close to the size of the block. If you put a little stamp on a really big block and you go to ink it up, you're gonna get ink all over the block. Hi, Carmen, better late than never. So happy you made it, girlfriend. All right, so that goes here, two yellow flowers, and then you have the inny, <laughs> the solid portion of the flower. This one I have a hard time lining up, but I just kind of guess and then shut my eyes and go for it. And if it's not right, you have more white paper you can use. Okay. So that's what we need for So Saffron. That was the color So Saffron. That's the only thing you need for So Saffron. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and punch them out. Now, if you had punched them on this side, then when you go, you would end up wasting all of that. So I made sure to punch them over here, or I should say stamp them over here. All right, so there's one of our flowers. I end up with white everywhere. And then we're gonna get this guy right there. I mean, you could cut your small, your paper into strips and whatever, but I don't like to barely be able to hang on to my paper. So now all we need to get is a strawberry out of here. So you wanna stamp your strawberry along the bottom. And unfortunately, if you're a paper saver, you could, if you really want to, you could cut that off and save this piece for something else. If you're not a paper saver and you wanna throw that away, go for it. It's your paper now. But all you need to do is get a strawberry out of here. So Mary Ellen tried to order the A block yesterday. Yeah, you guys, there's a lot of back orders right now in the entire world. Unfortunately, that's what's happening. And I think that the blocks and our inks were impacted by it. So there's a bunch of things on back order and I'm looking very forward to stuff getting back to a little bit of normal for products. So we're gonna stamp the strawberry. Make sure you stamp your strawberry upside down because that's how it's in the punch. It's so funny. Oh, I think Elaine's watching, she won't care. I think Elaine stamped her strawberry upside down, but we caught it and she stamped it the, um, the correct way. She just flipped it over and we caught it. And I think Dar did the same thing, not to call you girls out, but it was really funny. Um, but we did catch it in time, so it was all good. So you guys know when you stamp the strawberry upside down, it's a pear. <laughs> okay, so what I did is I stamped two outlines here, and then you have your solid. You guys see how much I've used this stamp. It's going to be permanently neon watermelon color. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of ink on there. These stamps got used so much between different classes and different swap cards that I literally had to take the stamps, all these stamps, and run them underneath the water and get the, whatever was on them, they weren't sticking to the blocks very good. So I definitely cleaned them, and now they stick really good. Hi, Bonnie Kelly. Okay, so this guy goes right there. Get that ink so it soaks into the paper. All right, so that's what we've got there. That's it for red. Thanks for sharing, I appreciate it. So our red should be done. Go back to your garden green for a little second here. Oh, we're not done with red. We have to do our saying. So I'm going to do a hull on the top of my strawberry there, as well as the inside of it. I will tell you that as your stamps become more pink, it is a little bit harder to see them. I got two stems going up there, but it'll work. Okay, so those are done. Those are done. Let's get our red ink back. And yes, yeah, so much love. You got it, Jan. And we're gonna put thank you on here. I'm gonna grab a block for that. 
right here. So the, the other sayings in there have to do with sweetness because strawberries are generally sweet. But I'm gonna make this a thank you so that whoever the face the winner of this card is, I can write a little thank you for your support. If you guys have gotten cards from me for winning, you know I appreciate your support on Facebook and in my business. It's awesome. All right, I think we're pretty much prepped for stamping. We just gotta punch this guy right here. So I gave myself something to hang on to. <laughs> Did you notice that? Oh, I hate having to punch when you have nothing to hang on to and then you got to use a post-it note or something to to help you get it punched right okay so there's that watch this we got pieces flying all over the place okay they were all over the floor you guys i had a plethora of white scraps of snibbles all over the floor when i was doing these kits okay so we're gonna make brandon happy in case he's watching because I know he sometimes watches with his mom, Angela. So we got to clean our stamps because that's always a good habit to do. <laughs> yeah, clean your stamps right away. All right, so there's our strawberries. How many of you guys ended up getting the strawberry punch in the bundle before it actually went off of um, availability? I know that it's been gone since I think sometime near the end of January. So it was supposed to be back in February 22nd. And then it got delayed to March 15th. And you guys see I have a new purple chamois and I'm loving it. I'm giving it love. <laughs> I'm giving it color. And then we have this one here. So I'm curious if you guys have gotten it and if you were able to make anything with it. Oh, Dan got it. Awesome. So you guys, this strawberry bundle. So I just started a new online class called Ink Paper Scissors. And it is uh, going to be a monthly online class only. Online only in, in May. So April was the butterfly class, which we just looked at the cards. For May, it's going to be the sweet strawberry. Oh my gosh. And I'll show you. I have two cards done. You guys, I have two cards done for the May class. So it's this one and this one. And I love this one because I made the 3D strawberry. So it pops up like that. And that's by making three of them. So these are two. And you guys, that's some of that same forever fern paper or the greenery paper. Carmen got it. Randy got it. Um, Leslie got it with no punch. Okay. So Leslie, you got a fussy cut if you don't stamp yours on the pieces good. But the, this is May 14th online class. I got two cards done, two more cards to design. <laughs> so that one will be a good one. Linda was able to get it too. Okay. So a bunch of you guys got it. That's good. All right. So we're going to get a little bit happy with our assembly now. So we've got that and this. So I'm going to adhere my piece of designer paper. Oh no, Sandy, there's only 11 things in the mini catalog that you don't have. That's awesome. You, you must have loved the catalog. I, I loved this catalog. I'll tell you, there's been, I would say the, the holiday catalog I loved. Last year's occasions or spring catalog, I loved. And then the fall or holiday before, I absolutely loved. So, Danny, yes, May 14th. I haven't published it yet because I haven't made the other card. You guys, what I did is I adhered my DSP to one end here. And I cut my garden green here a little long. And I believe for all of your kits, I cut them the same length as this. Yeah, Kathy, you'll be able to get this. As soon as I hear that the strawberry is back in stock, I will let you guys know. But just know, I heard that the strawberry bundle is carrying over to the annual catalog. So it will be around for a whole nother year, okay? So I didn't glue all the way down to the bottom because I know I was going to cut that off. But what I'm doing is I'm making it flush at the top here. I'm centering it left to right. Stacy loves them. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love the strawberry cards. And I have ideas for the other two cards already. So I'm very excited and I can't wait to get them made so I can show them to you. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I was going to trim it, but because I am going to work this way, I can just take my scissors and use the pear pizzazz as a guide to trim off the garden green. And then once you have that adhered on, or excuse me, once you have that trimmed, you can go ahead and adhere this on to your card front and that goes just like that. I love this color combination, the pear pizzazz with the garden green. I was trying to make sure the card wasn't very Christmassy like this card for the ink paper scissors. I was really worried that it was gonna look Christmassy but I don't think 
it came off very Christmassy at all. The strawberries are red and their their vines hulls are green. So you're gonna have that red and green combination. Oh, Faye raised strawberries on the farm when you were growing up, I love it. So my grandparents would take us strawberry picking every June for as long as I could remember. And then my mom and I continued the tradition up until maybe five years ago. And we're like, I don't know if it was right or wrong, but my grandpa said they don't weigh you when you leave. So eat. <laughs> and they did weigh us and we ate and we went home and we were always so full. <laughs> so so I use scratch paper a lot, guys. So that was, uh, um, I cut that paper wrong for, I make gift certificates for a local uh, cafe and I cut them all wrong. Not all of them, 50 of them I cut wrong. So I, I had to use the other side of the paper and that got used up. Waste not, want not, right? Oh, Kathy says it's not Xmasy. That's good. All right, so then what happens is that will get flipped over and we can put a few dimensionals behind this. Now, I know some of you might just put dimensionals on the ends like that, but I always like to put some in the middle so that it doesn't cave in. So extra support for our strawberry that's going to be on the front. <laughs> yeah, that is a grandfather statement, Cindy. Yeah, and I we never got in trouble for eating strawberries, but oh, there was nothing better than strawberries right off the vine. And they were fresh and they were sweet. And you always, if you could go when they first started the picking, like it was the first round, they were always the sweetest. So that's just going to go on our card like this, about north of the equator. So the equator is in the middle, so I'm just north of the equator. And then the strawberry. How I put the strawberry on is I put a dimensional at the top and I'm going to put liquid glue at the bottom, but I'm going to glue my hull on first. If you guys don't like liquid glue in small areas, it's okay. Use a glue dot. A glue dot would work perfectly fine too, but you got to be careful you don't go too far down because that hull is actually pretty little here. All right. Now, before Stacy says anything, I'm going to, I just remembered, <laughs> I'm going to Stella up my stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to Stella my flowers. Now, when you Stella in between colors, it's a good idea to wipe out your brush so that we're going to use our scratch paper here or that yellow. It's a good idea to wipe out in between because you might cross contaminate colors. Like there's a little green in there. And I went for the red last because I knew that this red is going to actually bleed, uh, yeah, the juice would run down the chin. It sure would. You get these big strawberries and they were all natural. It was awesome. But so with the red, that one bleeds. So I'm going to show you guys in the camera up close here. That's why I saved red for last because that red could have potentially gone into my yellow. So I always wipe out the brush when I'm done so it's cleaned out for the next time. Hi, Peggy. All right, so then we've got our dimensional on the top and I'm actually going to do liquid glue on the bottom. I like to have things sometimes at an angle. So I'm going to put the tip of my strawberry flat and the top of my strawberry is going to be popped up a little. And then I'm going to put my flowers flat. And this one ended up being kind of underneath my strawberry where my sample, oh, you know what I can do? I can actually put my strawberry down a little bit. So we're gonna put one of those flowers on that one and we're gonna put that other one there and you know, I might just leave it. So depending on where you put your strawberry and where you stamp your, your green vine leafy thing is where your flowers are gonna end up. Okay, bow maker in action again, guys, wowzers. So this is some of the polka dot white tool. It carried over from last year to this year. If I had to guess, I. I would bet this one's going away. <laughs> um, so I can't remember if I made you guys double bows or single bows, but I'm going to make a double bow just because I can here. And I'm pretty sure I made you guys double bows, but this one's really hard to, to tie because the tool is so weird. And with those little white polka dots, they don't always lay just quite right. So I'm going to make a little bow there. And that will get put on. Yeah, the tool's cool. So they have the tool. It used to come in vanilla, very vanilla, and then the white. And the vanilla went away. I don't know if it was last year's, so it, it went away, so it wasn't in this year's catalog. 
but the vanilla was really pretty too. So I'm gonna definitely use a glue dot to put this on right on the side here. And I'm gonna see, where did I have it? Over here, right on the corner. Let's see if there's a front. It's really hard to tell the front and the back when you make a tool bow. So I'm just gonna go for it like that. And make sure you pull out the tails so they kind of look fuller. Now, if you have to be careful with tool because you can see a glue dot through the tool. So <clears throat> generally I can get my tool tails <laughs> to go where I want them. And when I cut them, I cut them in between the polka dots so that I see the polka dots there. Now this one, I'm trying to debate which way I want to go with it because I want my tails to be going, oh, we're going to go just like that. Perfect. Okay. Last but not least, we're going to bling it up. So we're using diamonds again. And for this card, I believe I gave everybody a medium diamond and two small diamonds. So the medium diamond, actually, I snuck it in over there. So we're just going to go for it. It's like hiding a little, but you can put them wherever you want. I definitely think that the other diamonds look really good <clears throat> in the center of our yellow flowers. So if, you know, that one, you can't really see it there. Let's, <laughs> I have the hardest time, you guys, if you've watched me before, I have a hard time with where, where do you put diamonds? <laughs> oh. Okay, we're gonna leave it right where it was. Oh, we're not done yet. We have a little more Stella action. So, you know, we stella the strawberry, and we still had the flowers, the green leaves, you guys. We should have done this before we put it, all, put it all together, but this is where you want the green ink to blend and to color on the white. So I'm gonna show this to you really close up. You can see a difference, I bet. So that one, you can see I colored in with the Stella pen and it's got green. It's like you colored the leaf, and this one I didn't do. So you can see the difference. It looks awesome when you use the Stella pen to bleed the ink and it makes it look colored in. You don't really have to go underneath, but I did a little. <laughs> okay, as Kelly would say, voila. We got our card done and it's a beautiful thank you card to a lucky winner for next week. <laughs> so <laughs> awesome. Oh, you had strawberry shortcake for supper. Okay, I love it. I love it. It is getting to be that time where we're ready for spring and we're ready for warmer weather. Yes, Danny used a green Stella on the leaves. Okay, cool. Yes, and the other thing you could do if you want it greener, you could take a block, dip it in your ink, and then color more with that as well, a uh, garden green ink or a green ink. All right, that is our sweet strawberry card. And now we are going to move on to Shark Frenzy. So... The Shark Frenzy. I'm just gonna rearrange my totes around here. Let's pull this guy out. So, I, oh, there's a card in here. Look at that. We were looking for that the other night. Perfect, cool. Okay, so the Shark Frenzy is a bundle in the mini catalog. It comes with dies, so it's a bundle. And I guess there's a do to do to do like big thing about this. You guys, I don't, I personally don't have kids, so I don't know much about stuff <laughs> that has to do with kids. But I saw this set and I heard everybody that liked and knew about it that said it was cool. And I'm like, okay, well, let's get it. We're gonna make a card with it. I really like the dies. There's this one right here cuts the water. This one cuts the sand. There's bubbles. There's seaweed. Um, there's actually three seed weeds. I have, um, let me grab, I have them in the kit here. Whoa, company's coming, hang on. There's one die here, and then there's this die here. So there's these two seed weeds, or coral, they're not seaweed, whatever they are. Um, baby shark, L-O-L, yes, baby shark. It's it's hot stuff. So there's a, there's two sets of bubbles. There's little baby fish, there's this little mask and the, the smallest die you could ever, ever imagine right here. Do, 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 exactly. <laughs> you guys, this die right here is a mask and a snorkel on, on contraption. This is a baby little bow tie with a baby tie for your daddy shark. 
And then there's a top hat and a mustache and fun stuff. Okay, so if you've got kids that would appreciate this, this would maybe be a good set to get. So I uh, had to just show you all those amazing dyes in here. So I didn't do any of the words from this set, though. I brought in words from different stamp sets, but you could definitely put I love you on your banner or something else. But I pulled in, what I did is I pulled in a grand kid. And a grandkid has this birthday that says happy birthday. And that font seemed to match good with this card for me. And then I pulled in itty bitty birthdays and it says, let's celebrate you. <laughs> so there's so many cute things that you guys can make with this. And I will tell you this, this is two step stamping. Oh, there's little, there are little glasses. So you stamp, we're going to stamp the outline and I'm going to show you, I'll do it on scratch paper because I think I have mine done already, but this is memento and then smoky slate. And then I did this little guy on the inside and it stamps amazing. So just as a foggy as that strawberry stamp was, this is the opposite. Birthday party invitations. You got it, Sandy. Absolutely. So I am pretty sure that for your kits, I made your card. Oh, you'll have to tell me what I did. I don't remember how I made your card kits, but I'm pretty sure. I made them eight and a half by five and a half like these other two. So you guys all had the same card bases for the cards. When I made my kit up and my card, I, ac I actually made it the hot dog style. So 11 by four and a quarter, but it turns out the exact same size. So you guys have a little difference there, but that's our card base, Misty Moonlight. It's one of the new ink colors that's carrying over to next year. You, you guys... I stayed true to these cards. These mats are also four by five and a quarter. So it was awesome. So the whites were all the same and the mats were all the same. This is Seaside Spray and it is retiring. It's one of the in colors retiring. And you guys know what that embossing folder is? It is an amazing one called, I think, Seabed. And that's available in the Stampin' Up! catalog. You do, I made sure that when I embossed yours, your seaweed was going up. So um, I didn't have it going the other way. So that's all, all your kits are embossed with the seabed. Seabed, I think that seabed embossing folder. Okay, don't start gluing guys. There's a method to my madness and I want to tell you how I formulated this in my head. But uh, your inside, I've got the let's celebrate you. And then I've got the little baby hanging out in the bottom here. So there's no reason why we can't glue our inside in though. So once you have <laughs> more of my Christmas insides here. So once you have your inside stamped and how you want it, that goes on the inside. Seabed, good thing. Thanks, San Danny. Yes, the seabed is a perfect one to go with the, the sand in the sea suite. Okay, so there's our inside. That's done, ready to go. So this stuff, you guys. You got a piece of white that was about three inches by five a spanner punched. So I've already did that for you guys. I put it in here. If you want to, you can always take your scissors and redo it. And um, you guys also have, so my method to this is designer series paper comes, this one comes 12 inches. This is four inches. Um, yes. Tammy likes the shimmer paint with the embossing folders. So you guys, if you missed my tip Tuesday, I used the um, the sea, it was actually the seashell embossing folder, but you get the same effect with this this one, um, was using shimmer paint. So Angela actually, <laughs> I think, did something very similar recently. So the designer paper is four inches. So I cut everybody's, you know, at four inches. How cardstock comes, it was eight and a half and I cut it in half at four and a quarter. So that piece is four and a quarter. Then what I did is I lined these up on the machine at the same time. I did not die cut these individually. That would have been double the amount of work. <laughs> so designer paper is relatively thin. And so I lined these up like this and I used that die right here to die cut them at the same time. The reason I left this one at four and a quarter and this one at four, I could have had them both at four, but then your waves would be like that. They would be lined up identical and it's cool to have them offset. So what I intended that you guys would probably do is offset them like this 
so that they weren't exactly underneath each other because waves aren't generally like that. They're all over the board. So we have to cut this off and I wanna show you how we cut it off and how we put this together. So don't get glue happy quite yet. <laughs> okay, so that's why they're not the same length though. You also have two pieces of coral that are cut out and what you will need to do is pop out I did not do all the popping, you guys. You can pop yourself. Um, some of them naturally fall out, but some don't. So you will have to pop any of those out if you need to. Oh, yes. The seashell embossing folder is another one of those items with the painted. So there's two embossing folders in the new mini catalog, and they're both turned off right now. The painted texture and the seabed. So you guys, they're coming back, I promise. As soon as I know that they're back in stock, I'll probably post on the VIP page and I'll post in the, the Cards by Christine page that they're available. So this is the sand and that was cut at four inches and then it's just die cut. So we've got those pieces. My little shark here, well, Papa Shark is done, but I wanna show you guys. I have, I wanna show you how easy it is to stamp that. So we use, there's the die for it. There's Memento, so I, I'd always do the outline first. So here's the outline for the shark. I'm just gonna do it on my scratch paper here. So there's the outline. Nice, easy. If you want, you could color that in. And if you're not a good or like coloring, <laughs> that's why they have this out, the solid one. So I use Smoky Slate for the shark. Uh, gray granite would probably work, but I really liked how the Smoky Slate worked with it. And just ink that up. And how you line it up, I, I went for his, his fin on the back and then his fin on the arm. And then I get the top matching and just I go back for a second glance and make sure it's still lined up. And then once I have it all lined up, Perfect. Look at that. It's so easy to stamp that one. I don't know what it is, but they did it fabulous. And my stamp is a little pink there too. Then, so what you guys got in your kit, because I don't know who has what. So you've got a, a piece of white paper that's die cut like this for the shark in case you only have the stamps. If you don't have the stamps, I put in a piece of white paper about this size, which was enough space to potentially make something else. Maybe you have a different fish stamp. Maybe you have something else, but you have a white piece that looks like this in your kit and you have a white, I think it's a white two and three quarter by two and three quarter. So, all right, we're gonna make Brandon proud and clean our stamps. And I think we're almost ready to assemble, but I think what I want to do, as long as I have my scratch paper here, it's easier to Stella things when you have them not potentially on your card, because then if you go over the edge, it's okay. So I'm going to Stella these up really quick. Get some glitter on our coral. So the color for the coral here is Calypso Coral. The DSP here, the designer series paper, that is from the Sand and Sea Suite. So if you flip that over, you can see that there's the those things. <laughs> Squids? I don't know. Not squid. Jellyfish? Are those jellyfish maybe? There's something. There's something natural like <laughs> from the water. Okay. So we got that. Perfect. Danny said that the Stitched with Whimsy dies is a featured product on the Stampin' Up! website for $29. You got it, girl. Okay. So this is how we put this together. I started from the bottom and I worked my way up. I found a lot of times people glued this to this and then they glued this to this and then put it down. I didn't do that. I, uh, I started at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is, yes, Susie, exactly. If you do Stella that way, you don't get it all over the place. So I actually am gonna prep a little dimensional there and I'm gonna prep a dimensional here. Sea urchins, thanks Jean. Sand dollars, that's what they could be too. They're circle. So don't, I'm not picking this off though, okay? That's it. All my dimensionals that I'm putting on right now, I'm not picking them off. And what I'm doing is I'm putting a line of liquid glue. Come on little guy. A line of liquid glue, sea urchins. Okay, so it must be the sea urchin. 
This then is going to go at the bottom. So make sure that there's a top and a bottom. If you have shimmer paint at home, that white, you could shimmer paint all over your seaweed. That would be super cool. So what I'm doing is I'm lining up the bottom here, the corners, and I'm gonna work from the bottom up. <laughs> okay, and I'm not taking off the dimensionals quite yet because there's things I wanna tuck down. So now I'm gonna do something similar on my designer paper here. I'm gonna put a dimensional or four dimensionals along the top and I'm not going to pick them off and I'm gonna glue along the bottom and slightly up the edge, maybe a half an inch. And then that is going to go down and I'm tucking the designer paper underneath and it's not gonna stick where the dimensionals are because I don't have my backing off, but this allows me to put it as high or as low as I want it. Main thing is to make sure your edges are flush on the one side and that your sandpaper or your, your, your sand is secure. I don't think my mine was glued down all the way. <laughs> I mean, it was glued down, but it wasn't stuck. Okay, if you have any overhang, that's where you can take your scissors and trim it so it's flush. Don't pick them off yet, Cindy. I didn't pick them off because now what I want to do is I'm going to tuck this piece in here and now I'm going to look to see how I want it. I think I'm gonna go all the way over. Had I picked off the bottom, it would be a hot sticky mess of dimensionals all over the place. And I don't want that quite yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm putting four dimensionals behind my blue water, my misty moonlight water. And because I'm going to put this all the way flush on this side, I'm not gonna put glue over on the edge here. So I wanna make sure I don't glue too far over here. So I'm gonna put a line of liquid glue along the bottom. Now you guys, this is just my method to my madness. If you wanna <clears throat> put this together a different way, that's completely up to you. But I'm doing, I'm showing you how I did it so, so that um, you can see <laughs> just a different way to assemble something. So what I'm doing is now I can lift up my water as how high I want it. So I'm not, again, I didn't pick off any of my dimensionals yet and I can get my water exactly where I want it. And I'm lined up on that side. Okay, then you can go ahead and take your scissors and trim off your extra misty moonlight. See, just like that. So we've got our waves in there, they're at the right height. You know, you might have glued these all around the same height. And I, I didn't mean for that, for you guys to do it that way. So, but again, you guys can change it up. So Cindy asked a question, what does that mean? Cindy, I don't know what you're asking about because I'm on to the next thing already. So you're gonna, when you ask, maybe tell me what you're asking about because I'm not sure if you're talking about the dimensionals. Okay, so now what you can do is we've got that lined up where we want it. You can definitely take off the dimensional backs for the misty moonlight. Okay, so just gently lift that up. Okay, now you can see that that's stuck there. That's perfect. So now before we pick off the designer paper ones, we're gonna stick our shark in there. I'm gonna actually do a double stack on the top of his head. So too high, it's like a double stuff Oreo. <laughs> okay, so there's our too high because this is high here. And so we need some height right there. But then I'm also gonna put liquid glue along the bottom here. And then we're gonna tuck him in here. So he's just hanging out, just floating around, like do, 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 right? That's what you got. <laughs> that's what they, he says. Okay, so that goes here. Now, if you're not a fan of so many dimensionals, just do one high, it's okay. One high works too. So he's hanging out now there. We've got him tucked in and we didn't have to worry about competing with dimensionals. So now I'm just gonna gently lift this up and pull out the dimensional backings for those four dimensionals. Okay, now push those down. And now we're, our card's coming together, guys. So there's that. Now we don't have our sand secure yet because we're gonna put some coral in there and we didn't know exactly where we were gonna put it. This dimensional over here though, he can get picked out because there's nothing really going there. But our coral, so you have two of them. One is more filled in and one is more of an outline. And so this one goes on one side and one goes on the other. And the one that's flat here, I 
put some glue, just little bits of glue, little dots here along a few of the leaves or whatever they are <laughs> and just maybe a little right there. I don't want to put it all the way at the top because I don't want it bent back. So this one's going to tuck underneath here like that. And then this other one is going to go on the top to make it look like it's not all the same because this is how I look at that. So we're going to put a little bit along the bottom. You guys, you got to be careful with the liquid glue on stuff that's this small. Uh, you don't want it oozing all over. So I sell it at first because it's so thin and I just, you can barely see, I put a little bit of glue there and then that's going to go on the front like that. Okay. <clears throat> In your kits, everybody got two stickers. The stickers come from the Sand and Sea Suite. They're called Seaside Shells. Say that seven times fast. And so you've got a pink conch <laughs> and you've got a starfish. So I put this one over on the side. I had the hardest time when I first started, like when I saw these stickers in the catalog, I thought, I'm never going to use those stickers. And then I made this card and I thought, oh my gosh, the stickers actually fit pretty well with it because it's kind of kidsy and these stars or stickers are kind of like that. <laughs> so, all right. So you've got your seashell, seashell by the seashore going on. Now, before you glue that on, we're going to put the banner on here. And so what you want to do is stamp your sentiment closer to the banner edge here. If you're following me, if you guys change it up, you're all good. It doesn't matter. But I'm just, if you, if you want to follow how I did it, I put a dimensional on this side and then I put liquid glue on this side and your banner might be a little bit long. That's okay because you can trim it. So I'm going to be putting a pearl here or an opal round. And so when I glue this down, I'm going to glue it so that there's less white on that side. And once I have it straight, I'm going to flip it over and take my scissors and trim off that edge just like that. Okay. So if it's too long, it's okay. You can shorten it up. And now you guys, for the final moment that you've been waiting for, we get to glue this piece down. I'll tell you, I had uh, so many times people will want to glue. And because this is an embossed folder, I'm going to put a little bit more glue back here because it's so rumply. People are going to want, you guys are going to want to glue that blue piece down first. If you do it first, you're not going to be able to trim. You're not going to be able to trim. It just, it goes a lot easier if you do it last. And now you're just going to center that on your card front. And look at it. I mean, isn't that, like, I'm so excited. This card, when I originally, like, was looking for ideas, I, I, I wish I would have so I have a card that I case, but it looks absolutely nothing like this. It was a horizontal card. It had a circle in the middle. It just was not anything like this. And this is where I ended up with this card. This, you guys, I can honestly say this was an original design that I came up with. I designed this card back in January. Oh, December. The week before Christmas, I designed this card. There was nothing else available on the internet or Pinterest or Facebook with Shark Frenzy. Okay, we're not done quite yet. There are my favorite embellishment in the, the mini catalog are these opal rounds. And they look like little bubbles, like little air bubbles. I love it. And I love using up the smallest pieces first, guys. So we're going to put a couple little bubbles like he's breathing. And so you should have three of them in your kit. Either two big and one small or vice versa. And honestly, they look almost like they're the same size. So... Oh, I had so much fun with this card. After it was done, I thought I want to make like a hundred of these because they're so adorable. I wish I had a hundred kids that I knew that would <laughs> want like this card, but there it is. And then the inside, let's celebrate you with the little dude on the bottom. I was so excited when I finished. You guys can tell, I, I keep saying it. I love this card. So, oh, it's so much fun. So that's the three cards for the monthly card class. Rhonda loves them. Kay says they're wonderful. Ruth says they're cute. Do you sell the cellophane pouches for the finished cards? Yes, Diane. These are in our annual catalog. And I'll just show you guys really quick in case you're wondering, if others are wondering too. And then I'm going to go back and show the cards really quick. But in the annual catalog, if you go to the section with the specialty papers, uh, right here, page 153 of the annual catalog. They're called medium envelopes. 
They're clear. There's 50 of them for $6. And that's what I use to protect all my cards when I have a class. So um, they are for sale. And also you could mail your cards in those envelopes too. My mom and I used to mail all of our Christmas cards in the clear envelopes. So, all right. Those are the three cards for the March monthly class. We made it through without having to shut down and restart, guys. I'm so amazed that technology was on our side and our friend tonight because we got to finish this without being disrupted. So, oh my gosh. So did you have a favorite? I'm having a hard time. Oh, I don't know. I, I love strawberries, but I just, I love the complexity of this, you guys. I... I, like this one's simple and pretty and easy for, for me. Like this is appealing. That one's appealing and this one's appealing. So I am so happy that all of you that took the class with me um, got the kits. I can't wait to see what you guys did with your cards. If you put them together, if you had the bundles or if you switched them up, it's always fun to see what you guys made. So, um, so yes, Yes. Mailing. Okay. So you can mail your cards in those clear envelopes. The, the post office people actually like to look at your cards. It's so fun. Um, you have to use stickers though. So you have to use a sticker for an address label. Your stamps are stickers. You have to use a sticker here. And then the stamp or the post office puts a sticker along the bottom. So um, you might have to use um, do, 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 a non-machinable stamp or take them and have them hand cancel it. So, all right. Jean likes this, the sharks. Kathy likes the strawberry. You guys think they're cute. Okay. So we did really good. Um, I love the monthly class <laughs> because it gives me the ability to make, use three different like bundles or three different stamp sets because there's so many fun stamp sets in the catalogs. And so this gives me the option or the ability to do all three. So do you guys want to see what the three cards are for next month? Sandy, yes. I'll I'll resend the PDF. I'm pretty sure, I, I don't know what happened to it, but I think everybody else got the PDF. Leslie and Danny, I know you guys are watching. Um, you guys got the PDF. So Sandy, I might've pulled in a wrong Sandy. That happens from time to time. But do you guys wanna see, I have the April cards ready. I did post a picture uh, in the Facebook uh, page in the event and also my website of them, but the pictures never do them justice. So. I will be doing a separate video showcasing these cards, but just, oh, to Latokia got it. Okay, cool, perfect. Latokia, thanks for confirming that. Um, I'll show you the cards, just a sneak peek really fast so you can see them. So this one features the wrapped bouquet and the mercury galvanized paper. Back here is the mercury, and it's got some pastel pearls. And so you will need something to stamp for your bouquet and then the newspaper thing is die cut for you. So you'll need something flower related here. So, but you guys, I love my purple. So it's the grape organdy ribbon or grape what is sheer ribbon. Um, this one is the flamingos. So I don't know if you guys are into flamingos, but remember it's not always what you like. Is it that somebody that you know that would love a flamingo card? So. This one's great for, I. my grandparents used to winter in Florida, and so they, this one's hoping your day's amazing. Um, this reminds me of Florida all the way. <laughs> so um, this is the Friendly Flamingo bundle. So that's Wrapped Bouquet Friendly Flamingo featuring the Flirty Flamingo and Bermuda Bay. And then this one, you guys, I think is my favorite. Okay, this is another little bit of a fun fold with the easel. So this is the floating and fluttering because there's another butterfly set in the mini catalog using the foil from the Valentine set. So the blushing bride foil specialty and foil, and then it opens like that. So it's an easel card. So this one's super awesome because all you really would need, this is a stamp here around the outline. And then there's a sentiment in the inside, but you could sponge your edges if you don't have this outline stamp. And then this is a sentiment on the inside and it's, I'll give you the classic label punch out and then you just stamp a sentiment. I did put a little butterfly on the inside. So yeah, three little pearls there and two over here. So these are the April. So this class is set for, oh my goodness, you guys. Um, hmm, let's grab the calendar here. April 15th. I think this class is April 15th because then the next week is the hydrangea. So this one, you guys can start signing up for this already. It would be free with a $35 order or it's 
17 mailed if you pay with the cash check Zelle Venmo option. Okay, so that was a lot. <laughs> you guys, I have so many classes coming up and I'm so ahead of myself with the cards that I feel like I've been fortunate because Tyler had a little mishap with his foot. We have no idea what happened, but he's been on crutches for two weeks, two and a half weeks, and I've been helping him and I haven't been up, upstairs in my craft room for two weeks since it happened. Oh, this girl needs to get upstairs and do some stamping because <laughs> I'm going through withdrawal. <laughs> I mean, I stamp with you guys live here, but I haven't designed anything new for any upcoming classes. So I was really ahead of the game. So, oh, that was awesome. So not awesome that he had a, got a bad foot, but awesome that I was ahead of the game. So, all right, that's the monthly cards. That's the April cards. Are you guys ready to hear who some winners are of upcoming classes? Oh yes, so Jean's asking when the trip to Hawaii is. So I'm trying my darnest to get everything done for design-wise through the end of June, basically by the middle of April because the Hawaii trip is, my mom and I leave on May 15th. So I, I earned the Stampin' Up! incentive trip two years in a row for they're both in Hawaii. So it's a three-day trip and then an, a five or a six-day trip. So my mom and I are going for the entire portion of it. And then Tyler, my boyfriend, and Tom, my brother, are flying in at the end of the first part of the trip and then going to be there for the second part. And so we, my mom and I leave on the 15th. And then my mom heads home on the 23rd of May. And then Tyler, Tom, and myself are going to go to the main island for about four days. And then we're going to go to Oahu, where Honolulu is, for another four days. And we fly home, you guys, on June first. So I'll be gone the 15th through the first. And don't fret because I've already got Kelly lined up for the Thursday nights. <laughs> we put the mystery card night on the first Thursday that I'm gone. Are you guys, I have class the day before I leave. <laughs> I, have, I have live on the 13th and the 14th and then I leave on the 15th. And so Kelly's going to do a mystery card night on the next Thursday. And then she's going to do the paper pumpkin card night for that other one and then I'll be back <laughs> so so we got it all figured out that you guys won't miss a Thursday night because of me <laughs> so oh yes hopefully things continue to settle down a little bit more and more so that the traveling there is a little bit easier but it's still about two months away now so but yes <laughs> it'll be here before we know it and lots to do before then <laughs> so okay so and I have to thank most of you guys because you, you know, my customers helped me earn it and my team helped me earn it. And so this trip was earned uh, up through September 30th. And so now I'm working for the next trip, which I've already earned, uh, but a lot of you guys helped me earn. I'm going to the Western Caribbean, I think. It's May of 2022. So yay, I wish I could take you all with me, but I do because I take pictures, a lot of pictures, and I share them every day so that you guys can see everything that's going on. So. Danny says I deserve a break. Yes, I'm really planning <laughs> to just take my class sign-up sheet so that as people sign up for things that I can keep track of that because if I don't keep track of that, then you guys don't get your kits <laughs> and that is not good. So um, yeah, so basically otherwise that's it. We're going to have fun and do a lot of activities to, to just to see whatever we can. So yay. Um, did Facebook tell you they um, stopped top fan. No, Luann, did they? Did they really? Oh no. Oh, okay. So what does that mean? If, if face, okay. So what Luann is saying that you guys get a top fan status by liking, commenting, and sharing a lot. And then at the end of the month, basically on the last day of the month or the first day in the morning, I log everybody who's a top fan. And then I do a drawing on my live, which is the first Thursday after the month ends. And I give away one prize for about every 20 to 25 people. So Luann, I will have to check into that. Good. See, you guys keep me up to date too. So I appreciate that. So, oh, Karen Braxton was watching. Yay. Wonderful, wonderful. So you'll get to hopefully meet me in Hawaii. I'm excited for that. Awesome. You're bringing your three sisters from Wisconsin and you're in Montana. Awesome. All right. So none of you guys have it anymore. That's interesting. So I'll have to research that a little bit, but we'll figure out something else. I'm sure we will. So we're going to do some draw and then we're going to do some announcement of who won what, you guys. So hopefully you're still there. I have uh, six cards, the insert, and to announce who won the half-off bundle with the free 
art floral or fine art floral class. So, um, so Danny noticed that too. So I wonder if they'll come up with something else instead of top fan, but we'll figure it out. Okay. So drum roll girls and boys. Brrr. Okay. Winner, winner, chicken dinner of this card that we did at kit class on Sunday afternoon. Oh, we lost the pearl. Hang on. We got to get that pearl back over there. <laughs> got to press those pearls down. Otherwise they, they go everywhere. Okay. Wait, it's right here. Hang on. We got a winner. Jill McMaster, you are the lucky winner of this paper pumpkin card. So Jill, and it has this matching envelope that goes with it. Congratulations, Jill. Da -da -da -da, the next winner, winner chicken dinner of the other paper pumpkin card. Megan Fisher Bandis or Bandies. It's B-A-N-D-E-S. But Megan, you won the beautiful birds, the two love birds in the tree card. Um, all right, matching envelope with that one as well. I will need both of your addresses. Okay, the winner, winner, chicken dinners of these four cards are, so we have Tony Jackson, you're the first winner, and you have a matching purple envelope that goes with your card. Congratulations, Tony. Awesome sauce. Da -da -da. Cindy Bistram. It almost looks like my name, Bertram, but it's Bistram, B-I-S-T-R-A-M. All right, and then you also have a matching purple envelope. I don't have your address either, lucky lady. Okay, the soft sea foam card has the matching envelope too. All right, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Marjorie Lynn. I'm assuming Lynn is a middle name, so I'm not sure your last name, but Marjorie Lynn. You were the winner of this card. Wishing you comfort and peace for this time. And you can stamp something on the inside if you like. Yay, yay. Okay, my favorite one is, oh, it's upside down. My favorite one, well, no, I lied. Um, I think that if I had to pick one, I think during kit class, I said that's my favorite one. But my favorite color right here, <laughs> this one, um, for a very kind and thoughtful friend, winner, winner, chicken dinner, Carmen Melendez. You are the lucky lady of this purple-licious card. Um, I have your address. <laughs> yay. Yay! Oh my gosh, those were so much fun to make. So those are those cards. Now, this insert, you guys. One lucky winner had their name picked for this. So this is what we made last week, Thursday, for Celebration Celebration. Um, you had to earn a spot at, to get the kit from me, and it was by being a customer, signing up to be on my team, or being on my team and building your team. And so this insert, and you could get a black frame that went with it. And are you guys ready? Do, da, da, da. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Sandy Wicklander, your name was picked for this insert. So, so excited that you'll be getting this in the mail and I'll make sure that I package it really nicely so it doesn't get all squished. <laughs> okay, so there's that. All right, and last but not least, you guys, I don't have the name on here because I didn't make up a little post-it note, but I'll say her name. <laughs> so this is the art gallery stamp set and there's dies that go with it. And this is the featured bundle suite class that I'll be doing live on April 1st. With these four cards, you can still sign up for it. Get your gilded leafing. I think it might be coming off a of back order soon, hopefully. It may still be on back order. Um, so this uh, winner gets the bundle at half off and then the card kits for free. So da -da -da, there's nothing on the back side, but it's Ann Miller. Ann Miller from Sturgeon Bay. Your name was drawn for the half off bundle and the class. So exciting. So you girls are all so lucky and amazing. I love having your support and everybody that watches. I wish I had prizes, you guys. I say this a lot, <laughs> but I wish I had prizes for everybody all the time. <laughs> but I try to share the love as much as possible and try to get everybody, you know, like it's, I'm so excited how it works out that the different people win. So many people are watching now, so it spreads the love over as many people as I can. And I think that I do have a little pile where people don't respond with their addresses. I'm going to do a last call for some of those prizes probably next week when I do Paper Pumpkin. I'll do a last call and I'll see if I can get some addresses for them. And if I don't, we'll draw some other winners for those other prizes. Some cards and some, I think, top fan prizes or from Mystery Night prizes. So I maybe have like six things over there. So I keep your prizes sitting on a pile until I hear from you and... Um, then that means that I know that they're there waiting to get sent out. So uh, Deborah was very lucky. <laughs> she helped me remember that she needed hers. So um, you guys, life happens.
happens. And so I try to get your stuff out as soon as I can afterwards. And sometimes it's a week, sometimes it's two, but I try not to ever make it longer than that. So <laughs> you guys got to keep me honest, right? So congratulations to all the winners. You guys are amazing. Everybody's a winner. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your support. And we're going to get to those 2,000 likes, I bet, within the next week. So you guys are so phenomenal with sharing and caring. I love it. Awesome. So, all right. Cheryl says, thanks for sharing these card ideas. I love sharing with you guys. That's one of my things is I'm passionate about is stamping and crafting and sharing it with you because then you can share it with others. And it always is amazing when you can brighten somebody's day. So, all right, you guys, I had a great time with you tonight. It's a little bit earlier than it was <laughs> last Thursday night. I think we went a little long last Thursday, but hopefully you got something that you can work on. Maybe you make some cards tonight or catch a show or read a book or do something fun or spend time with your significant other. So um, Tyler and I have a date night tonight. He said he was going to build a fire and we were going to just have a night in with ourselves. Well, he can't really go much and do anything. <laughs> so but we're going to spend some time together, some good quality time. All right, you guys. Thanks so much. Have a good rest of your night. And until I see you again, lots of love and hugs and sunshine and happiness to you. Bye, guys.